Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for tuning in. So today, we're going to talk about the Lab Notebook. This is the one I use mostly, but I use this one from time to time. It's just bigger and I can write more crap in it. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. So this is the very first page that I have in my notebook. The actual first page. Um, very meticulous in what I'm doing. Uh, this is the very first day I've, that I was in the lab. Uh, I've been in this lab for two, two and a half years now, so a very long time. So this, this book is fairly old, one of my first ones. Um, but this is just super simple. I am just transferring one fungal colony to a normal PDA plate. And this is all about that procedure. So when you first start out, it's nice to have um, a reference point of what you're doing. Um, that way you can kind of go back and see, but when you get used to the procedure, you don't have to look back as much, but it's, it's nice to see what you've done in the past and um, see where you can go from there. So on your lab notebook, there are a few things that you want to have on there. Number one for me is to have a date, and that way I can go back and reference and see, okay, well on this Friday I did this, so on Monday I need to do this because this was left out for so, so much amount of time, and what have you, whatever works for you. So. Having a date at the very top is very, very important. Uh, there may be an aim for the week or a goal or something to that you know, extent. That way you, you know where you're going uh, throughout the week or during that research project. So definitely have that. And then also have your data and then maybe a conclusion at the very end. Because a, con a conclusion can tell you a lot of things about how, how your research went or if you're going back and referencing it a year from now, for example, you can say, okay, well, this is why I did this experiment, or this is why I got this result. So going back and looking at it, um, having those dates, having that aim or the goal and the conclusion would be a very advantageous if you are going to be a master student or a PhD student or if you work in a lab or anything like that. So you can have a very detailed um, notes on what you did for that day. So. so to give you a good idea of kind of like what my lab notebook kind of looks like, and you probably can't read it, but you know, a lot of data, a lot of data, a lot of, a lot of data. So it's, it's a very involved process having a lab notebook, but you know, it, it all depends on you and what your lab goals are. This is just an example, but um, like I said a while ago, the data at the very top, and then you know, your aims, and then your goals, and data, and conclusion maybe. So um, it really just all depends on you. So uh, this is a quick little, little guide to what my lab notebook is and what it looks like. So, Thanks for watching the video guys. I, I definitely appreciate it. There's just a few things that I wanted to go over about, about my lab notebook and what's involved with it and uh, what, I, what, what I use it for, things of that matter. So again, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button at the very bottom. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And I uh, hope everyone has a great day and see you guys next time.